Biography of Dr. Manmohan Singh. The Introduction Dr. Manmohan Singh is a prominent Indian economist and politician who served as the Prime Minister of India from 2004 to 2014. He is credited with introducing significant economic reforms and policies that played a crucial role in India's rapid economic growth during his tenure. Dr. Singh is also known for his work as an academic and as a government official, where he contributed to the liberalization of the Indian economy and helped shape India's economic policies for several decades. Family Introduction Dr. Manmohan Singh was born on September 26, 1932, in Gah, Punjab, which is now part of Pakistan. His father's name was Gurmukh Singh, and his mother's name was Amrit Kaur. He was the eldest of five siblings and grew up in a Sikh family in Punjab. Dr. Singh married Gursharan Kaur in 1958, and they have three daughters, Yupinder Singh, Daman Singh, and Amrit Singh. His wife, Gursharan Kaur, is a former teacher and has actively participated in social welfare activities. Dr. Singh's daughter, Yupinder Singh, is a historian and a professor at Delhi University. His other daughter, Daman Singh, is a writer and has authored several books, including a biography of her father, titled Strictly Personal, Manmohan and Gursharan. Amrit Singh, his third daughter, is a lawyer and human rights activist based in the United States. Dr. Singh's family has always been supportive of his career and has played an important role in his personal and professional life. His Early Life and Education 1932, Manmohan Singh was born on September 26, 1932, in Gah, a small village in Punjab, to Gurmukh Singh and Amrit Kaur. 1948, Singh attended Hindu College in Amritsar and graduated in 1948. 1951, he earned a bachelor's degree in economics from Punjab University in 1951. 1952-1954, Singh earned a master's degree in economics from Punjab University in 1952. He then went on to study economics at the University of Cambridge. In 1957, in 1957, Singh earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in economics with first-class honors from the University of Cambridge. 1960-1962, Singh pursued his doctoral studies at Nuffield College, Oxford. In 1962, he earned a Doctor of Philosophy degree in economics from Oxford University. His doctoral thesis was titled India's Export Performance, 1951-1960, Export Prospects, and Policy Implications, and it was later published as a book titled India's export trends and prospects for self-sustained growth. After completing his education, Singh worked as a professor of economics at various universities, including Punjab University, Delhi School of Economics, and the University of Cambridge. The Chronology 1932 to 1950, Manmohan Singh was born on September 26, 1932, in Gaw, Punjab, British India. He completed his schooling in Punjab. He graduated with a bachelor's degree in economics from Punjab University in 1952. 1951 to 1957. In 1951, Manmohan Singh went to England to pursue higher studies. He completed his Bachelor of Economics degree from Cambridge University in 1957. He obtained a Doctor of Philosophy degree in economics from Oxford University in the same year. to 1971. 
After returning to India, Dr. Singh started his career as a lecturer at the University of Delhi. Later, he became a professor of international trade at the Delhi School of Economics, where he worked until 1971. 1971 to 1976. In 1971, Manmohan Singh joined the Indian government as an economic advisor to the Ministry of Foreign Trade. He played a key role in liberalizing the Indian economy, reducing tariffs and removing import restrictions. During this period, he also served as a member of the Planning Commission. nineteen seventy six to nineteen eighty two in nineteen seventy six Manmohan Singh was appointed the chief economic advisor to the Indian government during this period he introduced several economic reforms and policies including a new export import policy a new industrial policy and a new trade policy nineteen eighty two to nineteen ninety one in nineteen eighty two Manmohan Singh was appointed the governor of the Reserve Bank of India the country's central bank he served in this position until 1985, during which he introduced several key reforms, including the liberalization of the banking sector. Later, he was appointed the deputy chairman of the Planning Commission, where he played a crucial role in the country's economic planning. 1991 to 1996. In 1991, Dr. Singh was appointed the Finance Minister of India by then Prime Minister Narasim Rao. He played a key role in liberalizing the Indian economy and removing several restrictions on foreign investment, which led to significant economic growth. He also initiated several structural reforms in the economy, including the dismantling of the License Raj, which allowed for greater competition and reduced government intervention. 1996 to 2004. After the Congress party lost the 1996 general elections, Dr. Singh returned to academia and worked as a professor of international trade at the Delhi School of Economics. However, in 2004, he was appointed as the Prime Minister of India by the Congress party, and he held this position for two consecutive terms until 2014. 2004 to 2014. During his tenure as the Prime Minister, Manmohan Singh introduced several key reforms, including the National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, the Right to Information Act, and the National Food Security Act. He also initiated several measures to boost economic growth and reduce poverty, including the introduction of the Goods and Services Tax and the National Skill Development Mission. Under his leadership, India experienced significant economic growth and emerged as a major global economic power. He also played a key role in strengthening India's foreign relations with other countries, particularly the United States and China. 1991, Dr. Singh was appointed as the Finance Minister of India by then Prime Minister Narasim Rao. He introduced several economic reforms and policies, including liberalization of the Indian economy, dismantling of the License Raj, and removal of several restrictions on foreign investment. 1996, the Congress party lost the general elections and Dr. Singh returned to academia and worked as a professor of international trade at the Delhi School of Economics. 2004, Dr. Singh was appointed as the Prime Minister of India by the Congress party and he held this position for two consecutive terms until 2014. During his tenure, he introduced several key reforms, including the National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, the Right to Information Act, and the National Food Security Act. 2005, Dr. Singh signed the historic Indo-US Civil Nuclear Agreement, which allowed India to access civilian nuclear technology and fuel from the United States. 2008, 
Dr. Singh's government introduced the Indo-US Nuclear Cooperation Agreement in the Indian Parliament, which was passed with support from the opposition parties. 2010, Dr. Singh launched the Unique Identification Authority of India program, also known as Aadhaar, which aimed to provide a unique identification number to every Indian citizen. In 2013, Dr. Singh's government introduced the National Food Security Bill, which aimed to provide subsidized food grains to two-thirds of India's population. 2014, Dr. Singh completed his second term as the Prime Minister of India, making him the first Indian Prime Minister since Jawaharlal Nehru to serve two full terms in office. His Literary Works Dr. Manmohan Singh has authored several books on economics, politics, and foreign policy. Here is a list of books written by him. 1964, India's Export Trends and Prospects for Self-Sustained Growth. 1967, The Balance of Payments and Economic Growth. 1972, Public Debt and Economic Development. 1982, Trade and Development. 1987, Monetary Policy and Fiscal Policy. The Asian Experience, 2002, India's Economic Reforms, 1991 to 2001, 2003, The WTO and India's Trade Policy. In 2008, The New Asian Hemisphere, The Irresistible Shift of Global Power to the East. 2009, A New India, Selected Writings, 1983-2007. 2012, Reforms and Economic Transformation in India. 2018, Changing India, Insights from the Margin. These books reflect his vast experience as an economist and policymaker and provide insights into India's economic and political landscape. All awards provided to him. Nineteen eighty seven, Padma Vibhushan, India's second highest civilian award, for his contribution to the field of economics. Nineteen ninety three, Assamani's Finance Minister of the Year Award for his role as India's Finance Minister. Nineteen ninety seven, Hiromani's Finance Minister of the Year Award for his role as India's Finance Minister. In 2000, the Jawaharlal Nehru Birth Centenary Award in recognition of his contribution to public administration. 2005, the Top 100 Influential People in the World by Time Magazine. 2006, the Padma Bhushan, India's third highest civilian award for his contribution to public affairs. 2010, World Statesman Award by Appeal of Conscience Foundation, a New York-based interfaith organization. In 2014, the Grand Cordon of the Order of the Polonia Flowers, Japan's highest civilian honor, for his contribution to strengthening the economic relationship between India and Japan. It's worth noting that Dr. Singh has also received several honorary degrees from prestigious universities around the world, including Oxford University, Cambridge University, and the University of Alberta. The Conclusion Dr. Manmohan Singh's contributions to India's economic growth and development are unparalleled. As a highly respected economist and politician, he played a pivotal role in introducing key economic reforms and policies that led to India's emergence as a major global economic power. Dr. Singh's vast experience in academia, government, and international organizations gave him a unique perspective on India's economic challenges and opportunities. His leadership as the Prime Minister of India saw the implementation of several key social welfare programs that improved the lives of millions of people in the country. Dr. Singh's legacy as a visionary leader and economic reformer will continue to inspire future generations in India and around the world.